Okay, my name's Don, and this is my first video tutorial in uh, Photoshop CS2. This tutorial would probably work in just about any Photoshop, though. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a glass sphere or orb or glass ball. Uh, this is see-through, so it's not your usual glass orb. Uh, the reason I'm making this tutorial is I saw a video on YouTube where a guy had showed one, but he didn't show how to make it. The whole video was only a few seconds long. So I took a very long time and looked up a finally found a tutorial. Uh, the tutorial was very difficult, very long, had like 3,000 layers and 300 adjustments, and uh, I decided I was going to make my own tutorial. So this is only about seven layers and not very many adjustments. Okay, we're going to open up our perspective pitcher. You need a perspective pitcher for this. A flat pitcher, it won't look the same. Uh, it needs to be something that's laying on a table or in a perspective view. It can be a pitcher, but it needs to be a perspective view of the pitcher. Okay, we're going to hit uh, Control J and duplicate our layer. We're going to hit uh, Make a New Layer. In the new layer, we're going to open up our elliptical marquee tool and we're going to hit shift and bring out our marquee, a circle marquee. Move the uh, move the circle where you want it. Doesn't matter, really matter how big it is or how small, just as long as it fits. Okay, we're going to choose a color which will be like a light gray. And uh, if you if you want a different color, that's okay. We're going to probably change it later anyway. Okay, we're going to use our uh, our fill and fill the marquee. Hit Control D to deselect and go to our opacity and change the opacity way down and make it clear. Okay, from here we're going to open up a another layer. And uh, in this layer, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control and go to our thumbnail on our second layer, and that will bring our marquee back up. Okay. Now we're going to go to our, uh, we're going to choose a, go back to our black and white color. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put in the shadows and the uh, reflections. We're going to put black on top. Come down and change our color to white. And uh, do the white on the bottom. Pretty thick, fairly thick is better. Um, now we're going to control D, select, and uh, change our opacity again. All of our opacities are going to be clear, so they're all going to be changed pretty low. Okay, now we'll make another layer. And again, we'll uh, control and select on the second layer, which will bring our marquee back up. And in this layer, we're going to do the same thing we did last time, except with a smaller brush. We're going to bring our brush down to about 40 and uh, we're just going to make an outline just a thin outline around the edge to uh, to sharpen our our uh, reflection and our shadow now this doesn't have to be perfect uh, in no way does it have to be perfect it, it actually looks better if it's not perfect you don't want to try to uh, to make it completely perfect okay so now what we're going to do is uh, We're going to hit control, get our black in, not even close to perfect. Okay, control D, we're going to deselect, we're going to use our opacity again and change it pretty far down. It's, it's really up to you how, how thin you want it, but uh, you want to be able to see the, uh, the shadows pretty good. Okay, again we're going to make a new layer. Okay, a new layer, and again we're going to go to our layer 2 and hit control and copy our layer 2 to bring our marquee back up. <clears throat> okay, we're going to make our brush a little bit bigger now, uh, bring it up to about 125, and we're going to change our paint to white, and right in the <coughs> middle, right in the center of it, we're going to just tap one time, control D, deselect and our opacity again we're going to bring it way down not near as far down somewhere in the 50s okay make another layer 
and we're going to change our brush size again bring up our marquee and that's really just to keep the uh, paint from from spreading okay we're going to knock our uh, our brushes back down to about 40 and what we're going to do is we're going to put in a, a reflection we're going to do two clicks in one place and one click in another place side by side okay control D to deselect and we're going to hit control T to bring up uh, bring up the selection we're going to rotate it so that it's uh, rotated with the with the edge of the ball and hit our curve we're going to pull out the top make it kind of round and we're going to squeeze in the bottom okay hit the check mark and there we have our, uh, our reflection okay while we're here we're going to uh, go ahead and make another layer this is our seventh layer again we bring up our marquee we're going to use our gradient tool and we're going to use our black paint and what we're using is a black to transparent gradient with our radial gradient radial uh, gradient okay we're going to go from dead center to the edge and that's going to bring up our uh, our gradient control deselect and what we're going to do is hit control T and we're going to squash this layer down a little past halfway that's going to be our shadow. Control uh, our hit the check mark. We're going to grab our move tool and we're going to move our shadow down and to the right and keep the bottom edges lined up. Uh, it's a good idea to have a good, pretty good idea about perspective to get it right. Okay, while we're on this, <clears throat> uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll change our opacity make it fairly light somewhere in the 40s and we're going to go to go to our Gaussian blur filter blur Gaussian blur we're going to go uh, 5 pixels hit the OK button and you see that makes a, a pretty nice shadow this is pretty dark paper so uh, the shadow can be pretty dark on this okay while we're here we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and put in a a flare try to keep the flare inside the uh, inside the spear I'm gonna put it right here in the center that looks pretty good okay now what we're gonna do is uh, it's it looks pretty good it's just it's still two dimensional really two dimensional so what we're gonna do is uh, okay that's uh, first we need to make a new layer so let's cancel this okay let's go make a new layer I'm sorry not a new layer we're gonna we're gonna go to our shadow layer layer 7 we're gonna control and click on the thumbnail on layer 2 that brings up our marquee now we're gonna go to filter and we're gonna spearize inside our marquee and click OK with 100% and that's going to spearize our shadow. As you see, the shadow is bent now. Control D, select. And uh, now we're going to make the letters uh, bulge. We're going to click on our layer one, our newsprint layer. We're going to control and click on the thumbnail again to bring up our marquee. And again, we're going to spearize. You can just hit Control F if you'd like. You can go. Uh, 100% and click OK and as you see that's uh, control D and that bulges our letters out and now what I like to do at this point is our our uh, our layer with the blue uh, you can leave it on if you want to but I, I me personally I, I turn it all the way down it clears everything out and uh, and that's it that's our uh, that's our sphere in seven layers.